Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here as always. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. With all that being said, I wanted to jump into today's video, which is going to be about how I consider myself to be an empath and an HSP. And I am healing from narcissistic abuse and complex PTSD or CPTSD. And I'm going to talk about me being emotionally triggered the other day and what helped me what helped me out the most. Like I said, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video, turn on those notification bells. I can't stress that enough. So the other day I was emotionally triggered as, as it happens when you're healing from things like narcissistic abuse and CPTSD. And I'm starting to pay, well, I've been paying close attention to what actually is triggering me emotionally and mentally. And also what works best in order for me to get through that trigger and to work through it. And um, I've come to terms that that what works the best for me is my ability to be able to meditate. And I use the art of balancing stones in order to do so. Now, I use the art of balancing stones to be able to concentrate and focus, which then allows me to meditate, if that makes sense. So... The balancing stones thing allows me to concentrate, which I've never really had something like that, like a hobby like that, that allows me to do so. And in turn, that allows me to meditate and be mindful and be present and focus on what I need most at that particular mo at that particular time or that particular moment. And this really kind of hit me I've always known that for the for the most part, um, at least for the past at least five to six months of me balancing. But the other day, it was really, really like obvious. I was really triggered, and then I w I decided to go out and balance stones just on my property, like I have done before. And it was actually it was it was dark out, so it was nighttime. It was windy out there, and it was kind of raining. And I went out and balanced anyway. And when I got done, it was just a couple simple balances. I, I barely even, I didn't really record anything or, or do anything. It was more just for me. But when I came back inside later on, I was not, I was not triggered anymore. And I was like more dialed into myself, more present. And I was able to actually even do a couple things that I wanted to do that day and that night that I wasn't able to get done prior because I was so triggered. So it just kind of goes to show you that, especially if you're an empath or HSP type person like myself, like I consider myself to be, um, and you are healing from whatever it is, try balancing stones for yourself. It's free. It's a free hobby. It's always great to pick up a hobby as well, something new, something that's different. And... Um, yeah, it works for me. It, it, it's not going to work for everyone, but it really works for me. It allows me at least to concentrate. And, um, I highly recommend it if you, especially if you're an HSP or empath type person. And, um, I'd like to do more videos of me actually balancing and being able to talk to everyone, but it's, it's, it is a bit difficult it's it's really difficult to be able to concentrate and focus in balancing stones and talking at the same time. It, it's kind of like I can only do one or the other and I can take different times of the, of the video where I'm just talking and then other times where you're seeing me concentrate and focus and, and actually balance the way that I, I, I normally would balance because you do need full concentration when you're, especially the more difficult ones. Um, but I, I, I really, um, I, I highly recommend all of you to, to go and try balancing stones for yourself. See if it works for you. Uh, um, and, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, but if it does, that's excellent. Let me know in the comment section below if you have tried it before, if you're willing to try it, or if you are, say you're in the process of trying it or you do it yourself already, I want to hear from you. So comment below, let me know, um, how it's going, keep me updated. I'd love to hear from you. Again, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video, and turn on those notification bells. 
I'm going to leave you with what I always leave you with, and that is, of course, be kind to others, but most of all, please be kind to yourselves. It's known as self-compassion. Take care, everybody.